guys, welcome to another Frogs and Magic video here on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about palming. Uh, I'm showing you a few palming techniques, uh, especially ones that I use. Now palming is basically being able to put an object in your hand and make it look like your hands are empty. So for example, right now, I have a coin in my right hand, but by standing naturally and, and uh, being as natural as possible, my hands could appear as if they were empty and make, and I can make things appear that way. So the first palm technique, you use this part of your palm. If you bend your, your palm, you can see that there's, you know, like a little pocket there in the middle. And you can fit different objects in there. You can fit balls, coins, paper, anything that could fit. So find something in your, in, in your house and per, just put it there in your hand. You can keep your hand fairly natural, in fairly natural position. What you want to do is check out your other hand or check your hand empty what it looks like naturally. Put something in there and try to replicate that same posture with your hand. So there's one palming technique. Another one is you can use your fingers, a finger palm. Put it up here in your fingers like this and you can hold your hands in a natural position. You can even put your hands down and it's going to look empty. Bring it back up. Finger palm. Alright, the last uh, palming technique I want to show you is called a downs palm. So basically, that's it right there. Looks like your hand is empty. So that technique is just like that. You're holding the coin. This works best with coins or something flat. You just hold it in between your hand. Just make sure you're not tilting your hand this way too much or this way too much. And that you're not too high or too low. And then to make it appear, clip it in between your fingers and just turn it up. See that? Watch. Alright, that was the downs palm. And let me show you a couple uh, techniques that you can use with coins, paper, balls, anything small. Uh, the first one is called the French drop. So basically all it is, is looks like you're grabbing the coin and making it disappear. So it involves a little bit of palming, as you can see it's right there. So the French drop, let me show you a backstage version. All you're doing is pretending like you're grabbing it and letting the coin fall in your hand. See that? One more time. Or you can, you don't even have to put your finger back. What you can do is just go like this even. Sorry, let's do that one more time. Just push it back with your thumb. And again, keep your hand cupped a little bit and that'll fall right into finger palm. So just grab it. And what you want to do is kind of curl, curve your hand back a little bit. So as soon as it drops back, tilt your hand, hand like that again. So what you want to do also is practice this move, uh, actually taking it. Look in the mirror, record yourself, take the coin, see that? And see what it looks like when you actually take it, and then that way you can replicate it. Okay? That's called a French drop. The other move is called a shuttle pass. Basically you take the coin, put it in that hand, and so it's right here. So the way I do it is I set it up in finger palm. And when I go to put it in this hand, you can either clip it with your thumb. See that? You clip it with your thumb and then pretend like you grab it and then just retain the coin in finger palm. See that? Or you don't even have to clip it with your thumb. You can just grab it in finger palms. So it's all acting like you're putting it in there. So, performance view. It's right here. See that? Without clipping it, you just go. 
right here. And then you can combine all these moves. Clip it. See that one? So what I did, put it in this hand, finger palm it. While I'm showing it empty, I transfer this coin into down's palm. Then I can show it empty again and make it appear. Can I see that again? Single. Okay, so there's a few palming moves. Um, like I said, you can palm anything that will fit in your hand and hide it. The trick is, is just to make your hands look natural as possible. You don't want to keep your hand too stiff, you know, or just in an awkward position. Just make it look as natural as possible. See that? Okay. Alright, as a bonus today, I'm going to show you guys how to palm a card. Um, I have a joker here. And the way I palm a card is basically just put it in your hand. This way, the card is going to bend a little bit. And then keep your hand in that natural position. You can even put your hand down. Make sure you don't have your palm out though. There it is. So the way I steal it off, usually it's best to steal it off the top of the deck. The way I do it is as I'm squaring the deck up I just select with this thumb I pull the card out and then just take it off. See that? So I have the card there. Square it up a little bit. See that? One more time. Square the card up. A good technique is to even hold the deck with your palmed card and show your other hand empty that gives the impression that you have both hands empty as a, a spectator isn't really going to think that you're palming something while you're holding something else with that hand okay let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe to frogs and magic youtube channel and I'll be showing you some more videos of magic and uh, sharing some more secrets that you can do at home. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We'll see ya.